investigative learning project, teaching students critical risk-taking and collaborative skills. Welcome to the takeover. In, 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 in. There's bubble wrap in the hallway, jungles, DJs and smoke machines in the classrooms. <laughs> Liverpool Boys High School has been art-bombed by the team at the Sydney Opera House. It's a crazy project. We basically have tried to, well we are, suspending the normal school schedule and replacing it for want of a better word, passion projects. So it's a kind of reimagining of what school can be. 120 boys from year 7 to 10 are taking part in the project, which will see them make films, music and artworks with the help of teachers and artists. We spend a lot of time in schools teaching literacy and numeracy. Absolutely foundational skills, must have. But man, that's a boring curriculum. Creativity adds life to what would otherwise be a really boring or traditional way of learning. I was just uh, doodling in class and I do this. Questions about identity led to Year 7 student Cyrus Asifo's drawings of the human skull. Through his research, he's developing a new interest in science and anatomy. There's like all these new things about um, the body that I know now because I've been trying to study and see how to draw them. One of them Let's out some gas. Former teacher turned comedian Tahir Biljik is workshopping film pictures, including a comedy about war. If they can have a good time, it's a lot easier to get the message across. So uh, well, that was always my ethos when I was teaching. But some teachers too are learning how to deal with the more creative material. It's been hard. I'm used to structure, so it's been it's been a, an experience to be able to let go. This model of creative project-based learning is proving highly successful for Liverpool Boys High, which was recently named State Secondary School of the Year at the Australian Education Awards. Next year